We're at the World Cornea Congress and I'm going to be talking to Dr. Doyle Stelting from Atlanta and he's the principal investigator of the keratoconus and ectasia cross-linking study in the United States. And we think we have something to offer keratoconus patients that could slow down the progression of the disease. Doyle, would you like to say a few things about the results of the study so far? Yeah, first of all, let me mention a little bit about what it is. It is a procedure in which we stiffen the cornea by saturating it with riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, followed by exposure to, ri to ultraviolet light for 30 minutes. And the result is a cornea that is stiffer than it was before the procedure. Keratoconus, as everyone knows, is a disease in which the cornea becomes weakened and stretches forward because of the pressure inside of the eye pushing it outward. And if we can stiffen the cornea, then we can uh, slow down or stop that progression. So far, the results from the multicenter study have been very encouraging, indicating that indeed this is what happens. This uh, confirms data that we have from international studies that show exactly that. In fact, with the treatment, we get a little bit of regression, that is flattening of the cornea, which is becoming steeper as part of the disease. And uh, we're very excited about what we're seeing. We think that this provides us an opportunity to treat a disease that today previously had no treatment. So we're very excited about this. We think it has applications not only for keratoconus, but for ectasia, which is a similar type of process that follows LASIK. And there are some other applications as well. So I guess in a nutshell, we can say that uh, the results are promising and we hope to complete the trials and obtain approval and bring it um, to uh, the United States uh, for application to patients who have keratoconus, probably at the time of diagnosis. So currently this is only available under FDA study, but hopefully soon it will maybe be approved. Is that your, your thought? Correct. Great. Thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome.